The clock moves forward regardless of, of uh, what we do. And um, some science, for instance, is moving forward. Um, people are able to do some of their work from home and theoretical work moves forward. Uh, lab science has pretty much stopped for many people and that's, that's tricky. That was just uh, too dangerous a move, people in close contact. Last time, we were talking about game theory. So normally I teach uh, using a whiteboard. So I don't use PowerPoints. I'm a, I'm a stand-up lecturer. I try to have a, a discussion with the class. I actually film my lectures over in, in Humboldt 124 over there. And I pretend like they're there. And uh, sometimes I ask them questions and sometimes I pretend like they answer. Are any of these strategies here an ESS? And the feedback I've gotten from the students is they say it's, it's almost like being there. So, so I take that as, as a success. The course that I'm teaching right now, Animal Behavior, it, it just so happened that we finished the last of our sort of in-lab labs and the students are doing their individual projects in the field, um, watching squirrels and ducks and, and uh, snakes and ants out in the environment. And we have always at Sac State really valued the live lab experience. That is one of the hallmarks of our education here. Our students get hands-on experience. The faculty here, they are professional teachers and they take the challenge and they rise to it and they're innovative teachers. By any other rare mutant strategy, it is an ESS. That is the challenge. They find a new way and that's, that's what we do at Sac State. We find a way and they're doing it.